floss tube. This is Ellen and this is maximum cross stitch power hour. It's going to be maximum. It's going to be cross stitch, but it will not be an hour. <clears throat> How are you? It's been over a month since my last floss tube and I apologize for those of you who may have been looking for me. You're very odd people, but I love you. Um, thank you for coming back and uh, watching my nonsense. And hello to all of my new subscribers. I have a few and um, Thanks, thanks for coming out and hanging out and listening to my nonsense. Um, I've, uh, been, I've been back in Toronto since about the middle of June. And uh, I've been having a nice time just hanging out with the husband and the fur babies. And, uh, you know, we've obviously been staying in and not doing anything too exciting. But uh, it's nice to get back to my old routine for a while. I am heading back to Manitoba uh, in a few days, actually. My mom's having some surgery, so I'm going to go and hang out there for a couple months and uh, natter at her all day long. Poor woman. I don't know how she's going to survive it. In fact, I, I have a suitcase down here because I, I pack an entire suitcase full of cross-stitch. Um, and my cats are now sniffing around my suitcase. And if my cat pees in my suitcase, that means that... Um, I guess I need new luggage. Cats, right? Um, anyway, so yes, I've had a great, uh, great month and I'm looking forward to going back and hanging out with mom some more. And I am loath, loathfully, woefully, I am very far behind on my floss too. Um, I'm like three or four episodes behind uh, on Pam and Steph. I don't know how that happens. Um, but yeah, so I'm, I've been saving my floss tube to watch while I'm in quarantine in Manitoba because it's two weeks and I'll be by myself, all by myself. Um, so I'll need, I'll need stitchy company. Um, I did get some uh, stitchy kindness in the mail. Um, my friend Ryan, my friend Ryan, who you might know me that I talk about sometimes. His name is Ryan. He's my friend. He's really great. He cross stitches and he's super awesome. He, um, he brought me some needles some John James and some Bowen, B-O-H-I-N, you all know. Um, those needles, I've never tried them before and I like them a lot. Um, I've got an order in from one, two, three for some, a bunch of needles. I think four packs of John James and one pack of Bowen because I wanted to try them. Um, but those were shipped in mid-June, early June and still no sign of them. So. I'm very lucky that Ryan re-upped me on my needles because I do tend to go through them. So thanks, Ryan. And my friend Colleen, Rebel Stitcher, or on Instagram, she is uh, Moon Pie Fry. Yeah, and she's Rebel Stitcher. She's got a floss tube. You should check her out. She's lovely. Look what she sent me. Look what she sent me. Baby Yoda needle minder. He broke in the mail, but I glued him with crazy glue and he's fine. So it like chicks dig scars. So I have a little bit of a thing for baby Yoda. I swear it made me, it made me start ovulating again when I saw baby, baby Yoda. Should have had kids. Didn't. So let's go, get uh, into some cross stitch after I've thanked my friends so much. Thank you. Um, I had a new start. At a new start, I don't have the cover picture. This is a gift for a person who doesn't watch Floss Tunes, so I can show you. And this is this is how far I've gotten. Now it's supposed to say, save the bees, plant some trees, clean the seas, punch Nazis. So all I've got is a couple of the words and this little bit of flowers here and I'm done. I'm just doing this on A Crew 18 Count Ada with DMC, the call for DMC. The designer is called Jaeger and Yarn and I'll link it below. So I hope to have that done in the next couple of days so that I can mail that off to her. Next, oh, this is a sad story. Um, oh, it's gone there a long way. See, we all need a haircut, right? Not getting one, not till it's safe. Um, this was the freebie from, uh, well, not the freebie, but it was uh, 
a gift from Stone Work, Stone Street Stitch Works, Stone Street Stitch Works. Um, you, she gave it to you for like 50 cents and all you had to do was, you know, on your on, on honor system, uh, make a donation to a charity of your choice. I donated to the Native Women's Association of Canada and I started it, the um, Martin Luther King quote, and I believe there's a Sal as well. And this is how far I got, but I have to start over because I wanted to do it really tiny so that it just it just was really packed a punch. When sometimes when things are smaller, they're more um, the more impactful, especially when the stitches are so tiny, right? But I did this on twenty five count raw linen, and it's not an even weave, and so everything's all wonky. The counting is all off, um, so I'm going to start it again on a on a more more even uh, weave of linen um, and I'll still think I'll try to do one over one maybe on 32 and see how far I get with that but this is a really sweet little design um, and I know a lot of you are doing it and a lot of you have finished it but I will be starting that again but that's sort of a work in progress that was also a sad sad story very sad uh, next, sheep may safely graze. This is by Victorian Rose Needle Arts. I believe this is the photo of the antique. I'm not sure. It's not a very good photo. Um, and this is how far I've gotten. I've been, it's been slow on this one. Um, I just get, keep getting interrupted by, by life. But this is how far I've got. So it's just a little over, it's about two pages because I haven't done the full length. So the page goes down to about here, but I haven't done it here because that's where the that's where the verse is and I want to change the verse. Sorry, Alice Smith, 1841, but I'm going to change the verse. But it's, the border is quite spectacular and it's going to be huge. Yeah, it's going to be huge. But I love the colors and the sort of, you know, old timey vibe of it and the and those gold roses with the hint of red. Those are cool. Yeah, it's gonna be fantastic, but it's gonna be a long slog. I won't be finishing this one in a few days. I can tell you that for nothing. Yeah, so I really am enjoying working on that. It's not what uh, Brenda from Brenda uh, and the Serial Starter, it's not what Brenda calls pure comfort stitching. It is not, you really have to pay attention. Which is okay sometimes, I guess. Next. Glorious sampler. This one had sat just doing nothing for a few weeks, but I picked it back up again. I'm very glad I did. This is by Chloe Rami. Chloe Rami. And this is how far I got. What do you think? It's pretty good, right? I love it. That's why I'm on that. Enjoying it. I um, I'm, can't remember the name of the linen, but it's a... Uh, it's like a smoke, I think it's smoky white or something like that. And it's, it's just on one side and guess who stitched on the wrong side. So I just got the plain white side. It's fine. In fact, I think I'm kind of glad because I wouldn't want any of the modeling to compete with the, the motifs because they're fairly intricate. All right. Next. Dutch boobies. I mean, Dutch beauty. You all know, you've all seen this monster. It's pretty glorious. 
do, 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 do. and this is how far I got. I think I have finished five pages on this. So this is where I am. Can you see that? So this will be page six and seven over here. And in case you're wondering why I call it Dutch boobies, these here, they're Dutch boobies. It's called Dutch beauty, but I call it Dutch boobies. It's a joke, right? Anyway, yeah. You can't really say enough good things about this piece. It's epic. Okay, and those are my works in progress so far. Oh, hang on, my dog wants out. He didn't have to go out, he was just being a jerk. I have finished. I don't have the, the cover sheet, but this is it. Quaker Street by Marjorie Massey done on 36 count either 32 or 36 count um, pie crust fabric by graham cracker and I used carriage black I made a few changes I removed one motif and put my initials and the year in one over one right there and there's an alf there was supposed to be a big alphabet at the bottom but it was an alphabet that, that didn't have all the letters and I cannot abide by that. I cannot. So I just cut that off and put the little the sob border down there. But yeah, this was fun. This was a nice stitch. Um, some of it required a lot more concentration than other parts of it. Um, but it was nice. Let's see my back. Not bad, eh? Not bad for, oh, except for that one that I forgot to clip. Not bad for an old gal. Who doesn't give a crap anyway so that's my finish Quaker Street by Marjorie Massey the pattern is already winging its way off to Caroline off the grid she wanted it she gets what she wants mama Caroline gets what she wants because she's the boss of me okay um the draw I had a draw for Farmhouse by Blackbird Designs. I liked it so much, I bought it twice. So I'm passing my stupidity, the bounty of my stupidity onto you. And the winner is Christine Hillis. Uh, so Christine, if you can send me a direct message, uh, either here on YouTube uh, or maximumcrossstitch at gmail.com or on Instagram where I'm Elpu is here. Just send me your uh, mailing details and I will get that off to you. Um, we have a new giveaway though. Um, again, liked it so much I bought it twice. Everyone's doing Christmas in July, Jolly July. Well, it won't get to you in time, but I have a whole Blackbird book. Ooh. Home for the holidays, full of all sorts of glorious goodness. Little stockings. This one is the one with Christmas guard in it that everyone's doing. Uh, what else? It's got that big old uh, cardinal that uh, many of you have done. I can't, there it is. I can show that. And a whole bunch of little cute little ornaments and pin cushions and yeah, well, you've seen it. So you want it? You want this? Um, if you do, just leave me a comment using the word, um, holidays and uh, I can send this off to one lucky winner anywhere in the world because I'm that awesome fabulous uh, next wife of the week um, <clears throat> my wife this week um, she's a, a you know a youtuber of note many of you know her and love her um, she's beautiful 
Like she, she looks like a pre-Raphaelite painting. She really does. You know that painting, Um, what is it, the one, oh, it's, uh, it's the one with, she's lying in a boat. It's very languid and she's lying in a boat. The Lady of Shalott and she's lying back in a boat and her hair is going like that. That's what this, this my, my wife of the week looks like. That's what she looks like. Um, I'm marrying her because she's a, a good person. She's funny and smart. She, um, she likes dogs. She has an incredible stash. Like, I'm not gonna lie and say that that's not part of it. I may be marrying her partially for her vast collection of charts. And finally, I've, I've always wanted, you know, to have sister wives. And um, because I'm already married to Elena B, this week's wife of the week is Olivia B. So now I have sister wives. Olivia B, you're my wife of the week. Mwah! Thank you. My bit on the side, this, I can't believe I haven't picked this lady already because she is the one of those um, commenters. Like she washes floss tube. I don't think she has a floss tube. I checked and I didn't see, um, but she's uh, she comments on the floss tubes that, that she washes and she's very positive and just, just a nice, shiny, positive voice and uh, I first heard about her through Pam and Steph because she comments frequently um, on Pam and Steph's videos. And of course, I'm talking about Michelle, Maine Moose Mom Stitcher. So Michelle, Maine Moose Mom Stitcher, you're my bit on the side. See you at the CD Motel for where we're gonna stitch all night long. All right. Um, plans. Okay, I have plans. As I told you, I am going back to Manitoba for at least two months. And so I'm bringing a whole suitcase of cross stitch and you better darn well believe I'm going to be buying some more. Um, so I've, I've, I've packed a little bit. This is the linen I'm bringing just to show you the linen I'm bringing. It's packed in this ever tote bag. Do you guys know Evertotes? It's a fabulous project bag company. You should all buy Evertotes, evertote.com. Go there now and buy project bags from Caroline. I love Evertotes, I have too many of them. So yeah, this is how much linen I'm bringing. A lot, I, I mean, it's a lot. I'll never use it all, but I like to have options. Options, you know? So this is my linen that I'm bringing, just in case. Um, I am bringing so many goodies and these aren't necessarily things I'll get to, but I just want to have them in case. Um, the Brick House Sampler by Brenda Gervais. I've got it all queued up. I hope I have enough of enough threads because it's hard to get over dyes out. You know, it, it'll take months for me to get over dyes to, to Selkirk, so. But anyway, I'll have to be able to start on it if I want. So that's one that I'm bringing to play with. And this one I'm bringing, and I think I really will start this one because look at that border. Eleanor Parr. Oh, Nicola Parkman stitched the model. But look at those birds. Look at that border. I'm a sucker for a good border. So yeah, I don't have it kitted up yet, but it's all in DMC. Or I can do it in DMC, so that'll be easy for me to get out there. Uh, what else am I planning to do? I'm planning to do a lot. Oh, we live in Hope. Blackbird Designs. It's got a boat on it. I hate boats. We've talked about it before. Maybe I'll even like cross stitch a little like sailor that's just sort of fallen off. Yeah, that's my nightmare. So I got, I got the threads for that, but I haven't picked the linen yet. And this, let my ex exemplar shine. Example, let my example shine. Chessie and me, just a little needle booky thing. What is it called? Like, what is it? A 
housewife for a needle roll. It's just a bunch of stuff that you put your stuff in. It's small. Yum, 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 yum. The Gobbler Rides, The Gobbler by Beth Twist. This was a gift to me from Sarah Stitches. I'm gonna do the dark one, or, or I'll do the light background, or like a different background with the white turkey and a brown horse, because that'll be like Cornelius and Escalade from um, Happily Ever After Farm Sanctuary. I'm doing it. It's a turkey riding a horse. And, oh, this one. Mary? Mary Griffiths, 1873. What do you think of that? What do you think of that, Laura? I'm gonna start that. Race ya. Race ya. Yeah, so I've got that completely kitted up and ready to go. And this one I am for sure starting. I've been in love with this ever since I saw Pam and Steph's, um, they did a, at the, it was like Midwest retreat or something last year. Um, and they had Brenda Gervais come and she had some stuff that wasn't released until later. And it's this one. And I just fell in love with it. And I couldn't, I couldn't believe that she wasn't going to release it right away. But I finally have it. And uh, I'm going to start the heck out of this. I can't wait. I just think Nicole from Nicole's Needleworks is doing this. And the border is just, it's just bananas. It's so good. There's some, I've got a zit on my nose. Um, yeah, so I can't wait to start this. I was going to start it today because today is my birthday. I'm 54. Um, but I'm, I'm not going to start it today. I'm going to save it for when I'm in quarantine and need something to cheer myself up. Um, yeah, so those are my plans. Um, that's everything I'm taking with me to Manitoba, unless I, unless I think of something else, which, you know, I probably will probably and uh, until I leave I'm just gonna work on that uh, punch Nazis thing and maybe a little bit more on sheep may safely graze then I'll pack it up and I'll head out west I hope that you're doing well I hope that you are keeping safe and that you're wearing a mask and that you are washing your hands and that you're taking care of the people in your bubble and you're using good common sense um, because we all need a bit of that these days. Um, I wear a mask anytime I'm indoors, yeah, outside of my own home, of course. Um, I wear a mask because I don't want to. I don't want to give a cold to anyone, really, let alone COVID. I don't want to give a cold to anyone. So, yeah, I hope that you are staying safe and that you are enjoying what you're stitching. And um, yeah, until next time. Uh -huh.